Hey guys, I'm Alfie, and welcome back to the A to Z tutorial on how to make levels in the Super Meat Boy level editor. In the first episode, I showed you how to place down tiles and change their shape, etc., and as well as rotating them in, the, in layer 4, which is the active layer, the, the layer which Super Meat Boy stands in. I'm going to place down a platform of tiles now in layer 4, and I'm going to need this platform for what I want to do in this video. I'm just, just going to delete all these misplaced ones. Okay. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all about objects in layer 4. I'm just going to move Super Meat Boy over here a minute. I'll place the spawn over there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing down some objects in layer 4, which is still the active layer. Now, this is the easiest way to place down things that can kill Super Meat Boy. You can place them down in layers in front of and behind the active layer, but the easiest way to do it is by placing them in the active layer, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So, what you need to do is click on the, op on the objects tab at the top. And now, you see here... E, I'll just zoom in for you. Q and E are zoom in, by the way. So I'll push E, and you see here the object I have is the blade shooter thing. So if I want to place this down anywhere, I can just click. I want to push F1 again. Go back into the game. There you go. It'll shoot it around. Let's say I want to delete it though. I can't just right click on it like I can with tiles. There are different ways to do it. The way I use, which I think is the simplest way, I just hold Shift, then I click and drag a box over over the object while holding Shift. When I release Shift. Um, you see the green box is still there over that object. Now I'll just hit the delete key and it's gone. Okay, so let's say I want to place down a different object instead of this one. All I need to do is use the scroll wheel. So I can place down some fire. I can place down this fire as well. I can place down that. There's there's loads of them. Look, in the object there's also bandages and uh, other stuff. If you place down Q when you go into the game, it's an earthquake. But now I want to get rid of all this. So all I'm going to do is exactly the same as what I did earlier. Hold down shift and drag over. Press delete. There we go. Now this technique also works with tiles as well. If I click on the tiles tab and hold shift and drag over load, I can delete a load like that, but that's not really what I want to do for this. So I'm just going to place those tiles back. Okay, so I've got my object. I'm going to use this spinny thing. No, I'm not. In fact, I'm going to use something a bit more simple for this bit. I'm just going to... There we go. I'm going to use uh, Bandage Girl. Let's say I want to rotate her, so I want to put her upside down, for example. What I do to do that is I hold down the spacebar, and you'll see this uh, little icon appears behind her. Now all I need to do is scroll the mouse wheel, and she'll spin, which is useful. When I release space, I can then place her down upside down, so I'm just going to delete her. Oops. Now, there's some more stuff you can do. Um, if I hold down control, and then scroll, I can resize her. So when I place her down now, she's hoge delete it. Oh god. Remember to always click objects if you want to delete an object. Now I can also move her into the foreground and background. Now this is really 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 weird. If you do this it can really mess some stuff up. Um, if I hold down the shift key and then scroll she moves towards the background. So now it's a good idea to count how many uh, little clicks you do. So I've done four. I'm going to do five. I think I did six. I can't remember now. Oh bollocks. But I want to place her down. You'll see when I move, it has like a little parallax effect, it's called. The Super Meat Girl moves with me as if she's in the background. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete her. And then... Hopefully just place it down there, and hopefully I've fixed it. No, now she's in the foreground. Oh, God. You see here how complicated... Oh, crap. You see how complicated it can be messing with this parallax? Thank God it's stopped. Um... If you do accidentally use shift to resize the object, thinking it'll just resize it, and you balls everything up, then, and you can't remember how how many clicks you needed to get back to the beginning, what I'd do, if I were you, I'd just delete the object, save the level, by clicking save, obviously, and then reloading the whole editor, because that can really mess some stuff up, and it's really difficult to get it back. There's a couple of other useful things that you can do with these objects. Um, if I hold down the semicolon and colon button, you see these boxes appear. Now, that's the hit boxes. That means if you touch anything inside those boxes, well, Super Meat Boy's going to die, isn't he? And I can demonstrate that! Obviously, um, well, unfortunately, even you can't actually see the hitboxes while you're playing, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. Okay, guys, I think that pretty much concludes this tutorial. There are a couple of things that I could show you about placing objects, but they're a bit too advanced, and I'll show you them in a later episode. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering layers 3 and 5, and how you can use them effectively uh, with tiles and objects, as well as, as, well as some props. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know by clicking the like button. And also, if you could subscribe to A to Z, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. And also, if you check out the link in the description to my channel, as well as the other director's channels for this, um, we all do a variety of different things. Um, Joe and Justin do um, like editing and stuff. 
Uh, but me and uh, me and Tom play do gameplay of things. So uh, go and check us out as well. That would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching this, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Thank you.